What is up? Oh, this is unacceptable. Oh no. Much better. What is up you guys? Welcome back to your average jet. My name is Evan. So why should you care about having a dress shirt that fit you properly? Well, as you can see in my intro, having a baggy dress shirt can really make you look sloppy and having a very tight one can really make you look like a sausage. Which I'm sure that neither of those two looks are the ones that you want to achieve. So today it is my job to make sure that you look sharp and create that killer first impression for your next interview or your next date by wearing that perfect fitting dress shirt. Without further ado, there are five areas that you need to take note in choosing the perfect fitting dress shirt, which are the collar, the shoulder, the sleeves, the torso, and the length. So let's talk about the collars first. When you button up your dress shirt all the way, the collar should allow one or two fingers to fit inside comfortably. If you can only fit one finger, then it is too tight and you won't feel comfortable when you need to button it up when wearing a tie. And if you can fit three fingers or more easily, then it is too loose and you don't want that either. Next is your shoulders. The shoulder seam of your dress shirt should lie exactly at a point where your shoulders start to drop off. Any shorter than that, the shirt looks too small and any longer than that, the shirt looks too big and you look sloppy. Take note that this area can't be adjusted by a tailor easily so do make sure that the shoulders fit you first before anywhere else. The third area is the sleeves. You want your sleeves to fit comfortably around your arms. About 1.5 to 2 cm of extra fabrics when you pinch them, be it at your upper arm or your forearm. Not too much and not too little. I see some men who like to tailor their sleeves so tight that when they bend their arm, their arm just look like a sausage and you don't want that look. And the perfect length of your sleeve is when you button up your cuff. The cuff ends right at the end of your wrist, above your hand. The fourth area to take note is the torso. The perfect fitting dress shirt should fit comfortably around the chest, armpits, and upper back region, allowing you a comfortable range of motion and at the same time not too loose. And down the midsection, there should be no more than 2 to 2.5 cm of extra fabric when you pinch them at both sides. You don't want too much extra fabric at this area because if it does, it will create this muffin top that doesn't look flattering at all. But you also don't want it to be too tight, in which your shirt starts to pull to the two sides when you button it up. And lastly, is the length of your shirt. It should be long enough to cover your crotch and your buttocks. Take note that we are talking about dress shirts here and dress shirts are meant to be tucked in all the time when you wear them. Having the dress shirt this long will help to keep it tucked in all day and prevent it from getting untucked easily. And there you go, the complete guide on how a dress shirt should fit. I will cover the details of a dress shirt that you can opt for, like the different types of collars and cuffs in another video. And before I end this video, I just want to say that if you want to get a perfect fitting dress shirt, the best way to go is custom made. An off the rack dress shirt will not perfectly fit you 99% of the time because everyone's body is pretty unique and different. But that being said, if you want to get a dress shirt that is off the rack, these are the 5 areas that you need to take note to make sure that the dress shirt fit you as properly as possible. And later on, you can send it to a tailor for alteration to make it fit you perfectly. And that's it for this week's video. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys next week. Why the heck do I have a shirt this big? Oh.